I'm so grateful that I'm here. It's not, I don't take it for granted at all because I have looked forward to this day and here it is. I'm a part of the meeting and I'm grateful to go for it. In this special meeting with the man of God, there were sessions of heavenly worship and the presence of God was palpable as the congregation worshipped God, lifting up holy hands. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lift your hands toward heaven and give him glory. Pastor, Pastor, this guy had epilepsy for five years. He had epilepsy for five it affected years. his sight. Having suffered from epileptic seizures for five years, this young boy could not read and talk properly. He also suffered memory loss. But tonight, he is talking and reading accurately for the first time Every in three years. He's talking clearly and he's seen. He could read all these things on his screen now. That's wonderful. So a new life has started for you. He says, yes. The Lord is wonderful. A new life has started, 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 started. Leko brade loronde go gosete. Started. Haleko bradosh to mante keble resolra badiga saligi. Tamanto ko se prebede le go salamanta kaya. Lika barado sondo lo mongos de brakeblikos oisha la mante ke la brahasati. Kira hoz, kira hoz, kira hoz. Show bro monte ke le zapatari. Liba kaso toko monte le bragadet. Tora bagasata. Lika manta barabasati. Ouch! Never again. This lady came in for this meeting with blocked tubes. When you were praying, she felt pressure inside her, so she went to the restroom and she passed out some things from within her, and she's back healed by the power of God tonight. Isn't that wonderful? Stand up and worship him. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Pastor, what happened there? This lady. He said, doctor said it was severe arthritis. Due to severe arthritis, this lady was unable to stand, walk, or sit without support. As the meeting went on, the power of God came upon her, and now she is walking upright without any aid or support for the first time in one year. Now she's just straight. straight up, yes. You couldn't do this? No. Look at me. The Lord has had mercy on you. And your sins have forgiven you. Precious Jesus. It's your love and your mercy. Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And what he did in the Bible days, he is still doing through the anointed man of God, Pastor Chris. Expect a miracle now as Pastor Chris prays for you. I pray for you to be well, to be made whole again, to be sound again from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus. Receive the blessings of Christ into your heart, into your spirit. In the name of Jesus, yes, be made whole right now. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Send us your testimony. Let us know what the Lord has done for you. So the Lord... Such that miracles begin to happen everywhere. Something happened. Something happened. Oh, glory. Pastor, in, in, in this lady slumped in a restaurant and, when taken to the hospital, was diagnosed with cervical spondylosis. Tonight, she testifies that she has been made whole by the power of God. She's been having a lot of pressure and pain. She said she don't keep her head like this. But now the power of God came upon her. All those symptoms, all those symptoms left her. You must leave. You must leave. And you leave now. Now. Out. You won't stay. You must also go. And you leave her now. We have a miracle here. With so much expectation for a change, this lady who came in with the lump on her breast testifies that she is healed. She can't find it. She's been squeezing something that took her to the hospital. She can't find the lump in her breast. She's been squeezing the area. It's gone. Precious Jesus. Oh, yeah. It's all done. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout! Pastor, this is my brother-in-law. Diagnosed with stroke since October 2014 and could not walk unaided. Tonight he testifies that he is healed and now he can walk without any aid. Come here, sir. The Lord is touching your body. He is. 
he hears. Just take up your hand like this. I want to pray for you. Because the problem is here. Rabba go take him at him. Koba, take his over him. Dio koma be. It's out! Out! Out of him! Take it! Cobra Babasaya. Well, somebody say hallelujah! Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Are you in a condition that seems so hopeless? Believe in your heart today that change is possible. It doesn't matter how terrible the case is. You can have a miracle today. He can transform your whole life in a moment. Watch this episode and many more whenever, wherever, and on any screen of your choice on the Pastor Chris online app or website. Drop your feedback and comments to let us know if you were blessed. Thank you. Experience the moment. are watching Atmosphere for Miracles with Pastor Chris. With hands lifted up, they worship God in the beauty of holiness. The Lord deserves our praise, doesn't He? Doesn't He? He deserves our worship. He deserves all adoration. You know, the Bible tells us to lift our hands to worship God. It tells us to lift our hands in praise. He also tells us to pray with hands lifted. Many people don't know that. The things that God tells us to do, they are not for His own sake. They are for our sake, for our blessing. It's in our interest. And when you don't worship the Lord with hands lifted, after a while you find this is how far you can go. After a while your hands only like this. Until they say lift your hands and all you do is like this. And finally it's down. Let your glory Hallelujah. Your hands just go up. I was born to be... And your hands are up. You know, every time that's, there's a song to worship the Lord, it says, Hallelujah. Up. You just go. You see, because you, you are recognizing His grace and His glory in your life. That's what you're doing. It's so important. It's so important. Somebody's been healed in the spine right now. In the spine. You can move your body. You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. I'm seeing someone with diabetes, blinding diabetes. You're healed. You are healed. Spirit of God just touched you. You're healed.
worshipped and praised God, enwrapped in God's presence, miracles started taking place and they came to testify. For about a year, this lady suffered from scoliosis, an abnormal sideways curvature of the spine. She was unable to stand for 10 months. From the hospital, she's standing for the first time. 10 months? Yeah. Just look at me. You are free. Loose her! Let her go! Let her go! Devil is out of her. She's Obviously, free. She's been lying on this all the while. She's free. This woman, for seven years, she saw Suffering from liver failure for seven years was really depressing for this woman. Due to this condition, she had been bedridden for three months. She was brought into this meeting in a bed. While the man of God was ministering, the power of the Lord came upon her, and now she is healed. Yes, Pastor, just a second. Hold on, come here. Hold on, hold on. Pastor, she was brought in. She was brought in today on this. She's running on the bed. Yes, sir. Who are you? I'm the mother. You are the mother. Yes. Of who? I'm the mother. Of the mother, the, the, the woman that born her, they killed a the woman with the same sickness. And they come on top of this one to kill again. As I hear this. This is the one that's next to your mother. So she's the one who took care of you after your mother died. Woman, you are here. Me? Uh, out of her! We turn no more to her! We turn no more! We turn no more to her! To sweet. To sweet. Are you in a condition that seems so hopeless? Believe in your heart today that change is possible. It doesn't matter how terrible the case is. You can have a miracle today. He can transform your whole life in a moment. Watch this episode and many more whenever, wherever, and on any screen of your choice on the Pastor Chris online website. Drop your feedback and comments to let us know if you were blessed. Thank you. Experience the moment. You are watching Atmosphere for Miracles with Pastor Chris. God is truly awe-inspiring, and His love for mankind is unquantifiable. The love and glory of God was mightily and literally felt at this meeting. It was a special time for the move of the Spirit. Thousands of people gathered and millions watched live through satellite and several internet platforms around the world.
presence is mighty here. His presence is mighty here. His presence is mighty. And at this very moment, I can see that the Lord is healing people. I can see. I can see that the Lord is healing people. Healings are taking place. The Spirit of God is in this place. For 10 years, this woman suffered from hip thrombosis. Unable to walk, she came in into this meeting in this wheelchair. During the meeting, the anointing of God's Spirit came upon her. She stood up and began to walk. Look at me. Look at me. Precious Jesus, all through her body. All of the Holy Ghost. That's wonderful. Where's the mighty shout hallelujah? Somebody say, Jesus is alive! Pastor, this young boy is 13 years old. This 13-year-old boy suffered from liver cirrhosis, an abnormal liver condition that involves the loss of liver cells and irreversible scarring of the liver. He has been bedridden for six months and was brought into this meeting in the bed. During the meeting, he experienced the power of God. Take him back to the hospital, all right? That sickness will leave him. It's out. The devil is out. He's free. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pastor, in 2008, Tell me. he was diagnosed with HIV. Yes. And it's been on medication. But this, this man was diagnosed with HIV since 2008. As a result, he couldn't walk. He was brought into this meeting in a wheelchair. While the man of God was ministering, the power of the Lord touched him. And now he can walk without any aid. Glory to God. Healed now. Look at me. That devil is out of you. You are free. He's free.